All that really needs to be said about mixins at this point is that it allows for multiple inheritances. So when I say my contact class has a mixin of address, it takes all of the different address properties and mixes them in into contact. So even though I haven't set up in my configs, city, state, any of those, I get them because I've mixed in the class. EXT does have super classes, so I could have done extend primer.address. But really, a contact isn't an extension or a subclass of an address. It more just has an address. Um, that's why we chose to do a mixin to allow for if this was supposed to come from maybe a person class to allow that multiple inheritance. After my mixin comes my configs. Um, these are the same as what we saw above to where I set up a really well-defined name, email, and phone with getters and setters accordingly. And then I set up a very simple method which returns the name, the phone, the email, the city, and the state of the contact that I'm looking at. After we define the second class, we instantiate it, as you saw before, and then set all these variables. One thing that we could have done differently here is rather than doing set name, when I created my contact, I could have just directly passed it the name. And I knew that by looking at the constructor of this class. I said that in general EXT allows us to create an object when we instantiate a new class as our config options. Um, it's flexible enough that if we wanted to just have a very well defined, you know, I just need a string. When I create an instance of, of this class, I can just pass it that. The general pattern that's best to take is probably an object that goes in there. But when it's something as simple as a tutorial on the internet, this is perfectly fine. So if I go back to how it looked originally, I set my name, I set my phone, I set my email, and then my location. Once I have that, then I call the formatted method, which is specific to just this instance that I created, and write out everything that it gives me. Then, after that, I use my static help desk email method to write out what the help desk email is. Combining this all together is what we saw when we went to here. So this is the name, which came from right here. The phone number, which came from right here, and so on and so forth. Um, this is a very simple single page application, like I said. It doesn't really do a whole lot, but it at least introduces you to what EXTJS looks like, how some of the classes are defined, and how we can get our single page application on the page. The next tutorial that we'll go through will actually do a very well structured model view controller version of a grid with all the different contacts that are located in it.